Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'm going to share on few tips and tricks on how to use IO redirection in Linux. Before I go into details, I will explain some basic terminology that is used in this tutorial. The first terminology is standard input. Now, what is standard input? Standard input is what is being typed on keyboard or other interfaces that can give input to our system. The second terminology is standard output. Standard output is the text streams that display on the terminal on our command execution. The last terminology is standard error. Standard error is an error text streams that display on the terminal when a command execute and exit with an error. To proceed, now we're gonna look on how to redirect standard output to a file. To do this, use single greater than sign operator followed with a new standard output file. To append or update, Use two greater than sign operator. In this example, I want to key in welcome to Geeky Space and save it in a file called stdio. I use echo command to do this. Echo command will display text on your terminal. The syntax will be echo followed with the text and greater than sign followed with the file name. On entering the command, a new file name stdio will be created in existing location with the content of welcome to geeky space. To append or update the file, you need to use two greater than sign operator. If a single operator is used, the existing file content will be overwritten. As you can see in this example, the stdio file is replaced with please subscribe the page. By using two greater than sign, the existing file will be updated. Next, we will see on how to redirect a file to input in the terminal. To give an input to the terminal, we can use less than sign operator. In this example, I echoed a text command of pinging my router IP. The text is saved in a file called stdin and then the file is used as an input to the terminal by using less than sign operator. The terminal will use stdin content to be executed in the terminal. The third trick is how to redirect standard error to a file. 
we can use these tricks to prevent error from displaying in our terminal. In this example, when I type ls followed with unknown option, it will display the error in the terminal. I can redirect this error to a new file using greater than sign operator preceded with number 2. To append the file, use double greater than sign operator preceded with number 2. If single operator is used, the existing file content will be overwritten. The fourth trick I want to share in this tutorial is redirecting standard output and standard error to the same file. There are cases in which you may wish to capture all of the output of a command to a single file. To do this, you must redirect both standard output and standard error at the same time. Use ampersand and greater than sign followed with the file name. To append the file, use ampersand and double greater than sign operator. The last tips that I want to share in this tutorial is how to dispose an unwanted output streams. On Unix or Linux system, there is a special file called dev null. Whatever is printed to the file, it will disappear without any trace. The main use of this file is when there is a program and the user wants to throw away either the regular output or the error messages. DevNull is also known as a bit bucket or black hole. To dispose an unwanted output streams, redirect the input output to DevNull file. In this example, I redirect the error to DevNull file. As you can see, there is no content in devnull file. That is the tutorial for today. 
If you like this tutorial, please click to subscribe and thank you for watching.